Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have an Ipsy unboxing and I'm just going to hop right into it. Um, besides just my Ipsy bag, I did redeem some points and get something really exciting but I actually didn't check what was in my Ipsy bag this month so it's all going to be a surprise except for the one thing that I used my points to order. And that thing is right on the top and it is the Born This Way uh, concealer. They had um, an opportunity for Ipsy members to get it before it officially launched but the only catch was it was being shipped to me after the rest of the world <laughs> gets it so I'm kind of late also kind of not because I technically ordered it before it was released. But uh, everybody else has played with it and tried it, and I got the shade um, Very Fair, which I believe is the lightest shade, and I am just super psyched to try this out. Everybody says that it's wonderful, it smells like coconuts, and if you've been around on my channel for a little while, my favorite primer is the coconut water one. So I am super excited to give this a try. And then as for the actual bag, it looks like this and the theme is Hot Summer Nights and the new kind of cool thing about this month is that online they now give little tips and tricks on how to use the actual products in your bag which I think is so helpful and really neat and I'm surprised they didn't do this sooner but whatever they're doing it now. So the actual bag is kind of a plasticky feeling one, it's the standard shape I feel, and it is also hollow if you are a fan of Christine here on YouTube, it, it is a hollow bag and that just means that it is covered in rainbows when they shift in the light. And it's got little beach umbrellas on the front. So the first thing in the bag is this Be Fine Night Cream with Cocoa, Millet, and Rice Bran. So use every night on face and neck after cleansing for improved skin tones. So that's pretty neat. I do kind of want to even out my skin tone because skin tone, it's kind of red and splotchy in places and so and it's also got some scarring that I'd like to get rid of. So this will definitely help out and yeah, it's got cocoa in it so I hope it smells like chocolate. The next thing in here is this Model Launcher Felt Tip Liner in Emerald Isle and I do think I saw this swatched on one of Ipsy's social media sites and it is a very dark green which I am really scared to play around with other colors for eyeliner but also like super excited because I've never had the chance to because this is a product that I would never ever buy for myself which I think is also really neat about these like beauty bags is that sometimes you get products that you wouldn't ever buy for yourself and that's part of the fun so this is what it looks like and this is what the felt tip looks like. And it is a very dark green. And it is kind of buildable. You do have to kind of make it more buildable. You kind of have to layer over it to make it a little bit more opaque. But this is the type of green it is, obviously. I really like emerald, so I am really excited to give this a shot. The next thing that I'm seeing in here is this Show Me Your Cheeks Blush by Elizabeth Mott and this is the shade Peach Pink and it looks like it's just one of those little uh, magnetic palettes but it's in this really, I mean it's kind of a cheap plastic but it's a nicer kind of case than some of the other ones if you've seen my past Ipsy bags, I kind of complained about the little envelope that they ship them in just because I don't have a magnetic Z palette, but the longer I'm subscribed to Ipsy, it looks like the more I will need one. So this is a really beautiful peachy pink blush as the name implies. 
So I'm super excited to try that out, especially because I only have like a total of two blushes. The next thing in here I'm actually very excited about, and this is from The Balm, which I have not met a balm product that I haven't liked. And this is Meet Matt uh, Trying Moni, and it is an <laughs> itty bitty teeny tiny sample of a matte lip, not lip, a matte eyeshadow. And then this is the shade Matte Kumar, I guess? But this little packaging is so cute. I actually really adore it. Even though just looking at it, it is the smallest thing ever. But the packaging is super cute. It looks like a little book. Sold. And the last thing in the actual Ipsy bag is this Trust Fund Beauty nail polish, which I am super excited about because I love the nail polishes that Ipsy has sent me so far. And this is, I think, the shade No Filter. And I have actually been looking for a shade just like this. If you follow me for a while, you know that I am a fan of Tanya Burr, and Tanya Burr cannot ship her nail polishes to the US because of the, you know, the liquid restrictions. So I've had to kind of search for my own dupes for her nail polishes and this, I mean I'm not saying that this is a dupe since I, I don't know what the other ones look like but I do remember seeing this um, somewhere, I don't even remember where I saw this, and thinking that it could be a dupe for Duvet Day by Tanya Burr. I think Duvet Day is a little more gray and this is a little more pink, but it's that kind of nude toned nail polish. I don't have any nude nail polishes, so I am super excited to give this a try. So that is everything in my Ipsy July bag. I am super excited for everything. I feel like I've been getting kind of a roller coaster of whether I like my bags or not. And this one is pretty much a grand slam for me because I there's not really a thing in here that I won't use, save maybe the night cream because I'll forget to use it, but I mean, I'll use it when I remember. So yeah, I'm just really excited with this and thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Might be in a new place because I am currently moving. My living room is rather bare. Guinea pigs are still here, but the guinea pigs will probably be moving out next week. I don't have to be out for another couple weeks, so we'll just see where I'm at next time. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. Bye.